Greg McCoy is a fitness expert and is the owner of Hidden Gym. And uh, just some of these diets, these fad diets and crazy, in some cases, toxic diets that are uh, out there promoted on social media, including TikTok, could be really, really dangerous and probably not a good move. Uh, Greg, good morning. Thanks for coming up. Hey, good morning. Thank you for having me. So what are we seeing, um, especially on TikTok? There, I think that these crazy, whacked-out diets that are not good for you, um, you're finding showing up on social media. Yeah, you know, the way uh, the, the alg algorithms work in TikTok is, you know, the videos that are extremely simple, um, so we're oversimplifying uh, complex advice, entertaining um, Advice that's generally well thought out and good sometimes can be boring. So we're, we're raising entertaining content to the top. And then stuff that's just crazy gets more views. And so you've almost got a challenge among influencers to promote the craziest type of diet they can think of. Yeah. Um, because that's what gets people its attention. I don't know who followed whose model, but I mean, we see this in politics where like the craziest 5% of Republicans and the craziest 5% of mm -hmm. Democrats get 90% of the coverage. It's kind of the same mm -hmm. thing here. Instead of the simple eat healthy fruits and vegetables, you know, control your portions. Everyone says that's boring. I want the simple quick fix that's going to make me shed, you know, a tremendous amount of weight. What, what are some of the, the bad advice or the things that we're leaving out on these videos? Yeah, that's, that's exactly it. It's um, it's happening across industries, and I'm certainly not the man to solve that for for yeah, all of us. Yeah. But um, w when it comes to you know to diet and fitness advice, I can just give you a few words of warning on what to look for, and and, and it's likely it's um, I don't know what your listening base is, but likely it's um, talking to your young people. Um, they, they may not be listening right now, so it's advice you need to pass on. But you know, basing your judgment based on someone's outward appearance is never good ad advice, um, especially somebody young that ne necessarily has the time to prove these concepts. So if, if something works for them, it does not mean it's going to work for you. And yeah, likely yeah. it's not because bodies are just so different. So yeah. you can't take yeah. advice from somebody that doesn't necessarily know why what works for them works for them. Um, and as far as nutrition advice goes, the, the two letters to look out for are RD. That stands for registered dietitian. That is the top of the food chain and the nutritional world on giving uh, medical and uh, health and fitness advice. And if you see that in the handle, um, then go, then dive in. If you don't, then you probably want to do a little research to make sure you're consuming good information. Yeah, I mean, and some of these are really like um, uh, suggesting uh, the, the Brussels sprout diet. I only eat Brussels sprouts for 30 days, then I have a cheat day. <laughs> I've been losing weight like crazy. I smell horrible, though. It's terrible. <laughs> I mean, and there's somebody out there promoting this, and then there's some person that decides, you know what? I, I like Brussels sprouts. I think I'm going to go with a Brussels sprout diet. Should be good. Yeah. Yeah. That's successful. And again, that's that's the oversimplification, right? They just like, okay, well, it's, it's that's a pretty simple system. I could yeah, subscribe I can to do anything it. I can for 30 do it. days. I'll just eat Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Or and liver, I, yeah, you know, the, the liver. liver king is the one liver of my king. favorite uh, influencers that's come out lately who's, who's got all kinds of people eating weird uh, organ meat in, in hopes of looking like a uh, professional wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's got a I, – I hate to say this because I don't want to get sued. I, I can't imagine that his physique is, is natural, if you know what I mean. Oh, I mean, far, he's got to be on something. Far from it. Yeah. yeah, it's not because he eats liver three times a day. It's because he's he's pumping his muscles with steroids. When he eats the liver, does he do it, mix it up a little bit? Like, no, uh, today, just, I'm going to have liver worse. No, he um, literally just will pick it up <laughs> off the plate and just bite into it. It's oh, disgusting. It's not like cooked? Barbaric. No, it's raw. He's all raw and raw all organs. Liver. It's it's. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Wait till you see him. He does. That's a yeah. great uh, uh, description. He looks like a professional wrestler. Mm, okay. Mm hmm well, but he's getting clicks, right? He's making money probably off this crap. He's got, he's got shtick, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, crazy. All right, Greg. Uh, uh, and by the way, thank you for uh, considering the fact that many of our listeners are not big TikTok fans. Our listeners are older. In fact, many of them are dead. Here's one of them. This is Richard Nixon, and you are listening to The Keeler in the Morning Show. <laughs> yeah, he's a big fan of ours. Not a big fan of TikTok, though. I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah, he's just uh, not since the 70s anyway. Uh, okay, Greg, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a great holiday. You do the same.